Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels, homesteading. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great out there. I'm doing great. Um, and I have another video for you. Uh, I usually go to Tucson. Uh, I've been going more recently uh, because hours are lower at work in at Safeway and I do Uber Eats sometimes. So I've been making a couple bucks out there and they have one of my most favorite thrift stores. It's called Savers and the it's so organized and they have certain colors every day that are 50% off. Anyway, I found this and I was like so ecstatic because I was looking for one uh, and I found one. It's a stovetop waffle maker and this one is Nordic ware and it's a Belgian waffler waffler because they're deeper holes but you could waffle schmaffle whatever <laughs> uh, anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make waffles with this and uh, we'll see how it turns out because I'm not usually a sweet person in the morning. I'm not sweet at all. Ugh, I'm so sour. No, just kidding. <laughs> but every now and then I want like French toast. French toast. I love French toast. But I guess because it's it has eggs in it because I'm more of a egg breakfast person. Um, but... This morning, I'm like, I'm going to try my waffle maker that I got for $5, and we'll see. I did see a couple of these on YouTube, um, and one, the one I saw, these separate the uh, pivot point, and I loved that because basically you could take them apart, and you can set both and warm both sides up at the same time but this one doesn't so I'm just gonna have to warm it up and then flip it over warm that up and then like kind of get it warm get it pretty hot and then you know I'll be good to go so I uh, my waffle or my pancake mix that I use most pancake mixes, they have a waffle recipe right there. And this is my most favorite pancake mix. Uh, but it just says combine the two cups of pancake mix, one and a half cup of water. Well, this is a complete can pancake mix, and it's Aunt Jemima. I love it. And it says a third cup of oil. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It says it makes 12 four inch waffles. Well, let's see. I think this is four four inch waffles right there. So, and they're Belgian, so maybe they're going to be deeper. So maybe they'll make two of these. I don't know if I could eat two, maybe one. So I'll just save some of the mix. So I'm going to go ahead and make this and take you along with me and uh, I'll show you how it works a little bit. And so this is like off grid life. Um, if you don't have much solar, using your stovetop is going to be your number one thing. And making waffles on a stovetop without electricity, to me, that is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm warming things up just on low for now it's on the first side I made the mix I got it pretty toasty and I went ahead and sprayed this a bit and then I'm gonna put some pray I don't overfill it Mm. Okay, that's good. 
even if I okay so it's kind of see the flame Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. We'll see. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got to turn. Alexa, stop. Alexa. Put an alarm for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Here it is. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Let's see how the center turned out. Just a sec. Okay, let's see. Alexa, stop. Oh yeah, that turned out great. Let's see how it tastes. There it is. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Okay, let's try it. that is so good well it worked and it wasn't even that bad once you warm it up really good as long as you have like a spray you know it's our it's coated with non-stick but you definitely need like a like a pan spray they came out really easy and it tastes delicious. I think I'm going to finish this one and make another small one. So anyway, I hope you like it. And uh, if you're going to be living off grid, this could be something that uh, you definitely want to invest in. So live life to the fullest. I'll see you soon. Bye.